on the things that the committee has laid out in this congressional forum. Um, we still haven't seen a direct link substantiated between uh, the White House officials and the militias like the Proud Boys and the Oath Keepers who were part of the violence that day. Are you still trying to substantiate that? Uh, that remains an ongoing part of our investigation. We have certainly shown some links between the president, uh, key advisors uh, like Roger Stone and Mike Flynn, uh, and elements of these white nationalist groups. Uh, but that component of our investigation continues. Uh, and as is the case more broadly, witnesses continue to come forward. We'll be presenting new information in the fall. Um, but, uh, you know, as we continue to ask um, about additional evidence, I think we really need to think about what we've demonstrated already mm -hmm. uh, about the president's knowledge uh, that the election wasn't stolen uh, and his response and his intent. And, and to me, that is most graphically demonstrated when he told top Justice Department officials basically to say, just say the election was stolen or just say it was corrupt and that uh, he would take care of the rest. Right. Um, those kind of uh, uh, pieces of testimony bear directly on the president's knowledge and intent. Uh, and this gets back to your previous question about the Justice Department. Uh, I hope they're watching. I hope they're watching carefully. Uh, and I hope they understand the implications of what we're presenting.